Hello everybody, this is Amy from Manic Yarn and today I'm going to do just kind of a mini felting video so that you can kind of see how that would work. Uh, my newest pattern, the Bubbles the Frisky Kitty, is going to be our, our demonstrator today. And so let's get started. In order to do the felting, you're going to need some fluff, like this is the fluff that comes in the felting kit. Um, a lot of kits, you can just get like the basic one off of Amazon or wherever, and um, they send you a ton of colors. And there's a lot here if you're just using it for, um, you know, surface felting. So you're going to get plenty. I think I paid about 12 bucks for that. Then you're going to need some felting needles. They usually come with the kit. Um, I really like these. These are from Purple Moose Felting. And what they do, this is a variety pack, so you can kind of check them all out. It tells you what they are. And then they are all color coded. So today I'm using um, I think my favorite one right now is going to be the the white which is the 36 gauge triangle that's kind of for larger stuff. Um, the bigger the number the smaller the needle. That might be backwards for some of you unless you're in the medical field. So 36. This is the largest of the three. I also have a 38 and a 40 if I need it to make the edges more smooth. So here is, let's see, this is a 40. 40 gauge. You see how tiny that is? Now know this, these are so sharp. I have never felted anything. This is the in-between one. I've never felted anything ever where I haven't just like partially felted myself. Hi kitty. So we're going to hope I can get through this without hurting me. Um, so what I've done here is I'm going to make little foot pads and I showed you kind of how to set it up. I've got my larger foot pad. I've got kind of an outline pinned in place because so I like to do that outline first and then fill in the inside and then I probably will have to outline it again because as we do this it's going to shrink. Um, for little round things that's real easy. I just make a little ball and I start kind of around the edges with the felting and then I fill in the middle. So I'm going to go ahead and use the the 36 gauge, this is really weird on video. This is so dangerous for me. But I want this little thing. And really, I don't know, somebody told me once, they're like, yeah, you just have to kind of stab it into submission. So I just do like a few little pokes to get everything kind of situated where it goes. Let's see that. I don't need that anymore. You see how that is? Now what I would do is just keep stabbing, stabbing, stabbing forever until it's how I like it. Till it's all like poked in there. And yes, you can felt with acrylic onto acrylic and wool onto acrylic. Uh, you can felt anything onto wool. I have never tried felting onto cotton, but based on, you know, how, how, you know, thick and, you know, the fibers aren't just as, really as fuzzy, so I wouldn't probably think that would work too good. So here's a little, you see that, and I might add more around there, but for the purpose of the video right now, that's fine. Um, Moving to this little outline here, I am, uh, for the outline, I just want to kind of connect it down so I can get these darn things out of the way. 
and the nice thing is just do a couple pokes here and there because then if you don't if you don't like how it is once you get it sort of connected down into your shape you can still pull it out but see there I just poked myself by the way that was amazingly fun um so just a few pokes to get it joined down then you take your ne your pins out get them out of the way now I don't I don't use pins anymore I just kind of throw blobs on there until it looks the way I want that's really up to you boy we're having I hope you can see this kind of okay because my focus is like focus oh my gosh that's so much better okay and yeah so I'm just gonna keep going what I want here is almost like like a shortened Star Trek badge or something <laughs> Okay, so I've got my outline here. Let's poke, poke, poke forever. See that? There. Now I'm going to, I like to start small because you can always add more. Way easier to add more than it is to take some away. So then I'm just going to lay another little piece over here. And just sort of go around that edge and a little in the middle. As you poke this, it kind of like disappears. So you want to make sure you're poking into a stitch and not like into the hole between the stitch so much. That's going to be a lot better. Note to self, don't put your fingers directly behind the felting. I swear. I don't know how I how I get through the day sometimes. So here's my little project. Um, I think you probably get the idea. That's how it works. And then once you get going on this, <laughs> you're going to want to felt everything. Because I could have just embroidered this, but, you know, I just spent seven minutes doing this little thing and if I wasn't talking to you I'd probably be done with this whole foot it's very quick and it looks amazing and you can do as little or as much as you want if you want to make it thicker you can keep adding more onto there as much as you like you can make a little bump on there or you can just do the coloring in um, other helpful tips are if you don't like the whole pinning it on thing, you can get one of those evaporating markers or use like an oil pastel or something to color your outline kind of on the very inside of where you want it. Um, you could try doing that and then felt over it. So I'll just keep working on this till it looks good to me, but I think we're okay with this uh, as far as you see and how it's done. Um, again, I'm Amy. I'm with Manic Yarn. I design Amigurumi crochet patterns. Uh, you can find me all over social media. Just type in Manic Yarn. You should be able to locate me. Um, you can purchase patterns from me on Ravelry and also on Etsy. Um, and those are the only places that I sell patterns. So just so you know, <laughs> if you see one somewhere else, that's probably not mine. Or it's a <clears throat> or it's a pirated copy. So you guys have a great day. Stay classy. I love you all. And happy felting. Bye.